Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse King and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. And this one right here was suggested by uh, a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to Muslims, prayer versus Jewish prayer, differences and resemblance. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. وبحمدك وتبارك اسمك وتعالى جدك ولا اله غيرك رسائل الله اكبر سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا لك الحمد الله اكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سلام عليكم ورحمة الله I'm 
most of this video is just about most of more than 50% of the video is more about the Julia yeah? I, I don't know if the last person was Jewish. Uh, Jewish or something I don't know probably I think that was the Jewish guy and then when you look at the way they pray the first one just how many times did he bow because that's the only thing I noticed First, you stand up, recite whatever you recite in a song like Mana, then bow. But then this guy, I'm trying to think, the only similarity I noticed is reciting whatever they, they were reciting in a song like Mana. The second one is the bow. In the first guy, I think, did a bow once, stood up and continued to sing. The second guy, um, did about five balls. The sixth one was a kneeling, that's when sleeping, that's when went back to kneeling and continued whatever he was saying. And also, there is a point where they look side yes, on the side, but this other guy looked the second guy looked sideways like mm, twice. So, I don't know, but I know at the end of the day, like I always say, I feel like with every religion. I feel like there will always be some similarities that we normally miss. What do you think? I think, um, first of all, I didn't, I didn't know that Jewish pray like that. I've never seen a Jewish pray. This is my first time to see a Jewish pray like that. And it's just so it's the same as the Muslim. They get it. But probably there's just one or two things that are not the same. But the bowing down is kind of the same the way they go down and come up. That's just the same. What I'm wondering is that was there anyone in the Asian texts of the of the Quran or the Bible or the Jewish book who used to pray the same way the Muslims pray or the same way the Jewish people pray? Or this were were, were, were prayer forms that were just, you know, uh, generated uh, maybe in the 21st century or, or the 19th century or whatever the situation. Anybody, just let, let me know on, on the comment section below uh, if the prayer the Muslims are doing today, I mean the kneeling down and the bowing and stuff like that, was it there uh, before what? Was it there in Abraham's time or were they doing exactly what the, the Muslims are doing today, or it was just after, after, after Muhammad or something like that. Just let us know in the comment section below. Anyway, it's such a nice, uh, what such a nice video to actually see the similarities of the differences. The way they just pray from them or carry out their services. They have churches or something. I, I don't know. Synagogue. Okay. Synagogue. Yeah, so I mean, so, so, I mean, such a nice video for. But then, what do you, what have you learned from this? I've learned that there's some similarities in there, and there's some sort of a formula. You get it, which I really like. To be honest, you understand. But then, have you noticed? I would say, like three of the religions I know, they all knew to pray. Yes, like Catholics also kneel down. I mean, they uh, when they recite their prayers, they go down and then come up. Yeah. Maybe it's the right way to pray. Anyway, guys, 
If you feel like you've reacted to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction video. And what do you feel about our reaction? What do you feel about this video right here? Just let us know in the comment section below. And the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. Peace out.